Stranger Things is very, very, very hype, and everyone is super duper stoked for the second half of season four. So I thought it is time to get on the bandwagon. It is time to become a fan of the Stranger Things. And to celebrate that, I did go on ahead and want to create some characters from Stranger Things in Lego form. That being said, the Lego group uh, did provide a pretty fantastic base for us to work off of because they have gone ahead and actually done a wonderful, very highly regarded set for Stranger Things that actually featured eight minifigs. So. I went ahead and used those as the base case scenario for our designs here today. Of course, with that in mind, though, I do want to hear from you guys as well. What do you think of the designs that I built here today? And there are two bonus characters that will be showcased here today as well, which should be a lot of fun to go on ahead and take a look at. Let me know what is your favorite Stranger Things character and... Also, hit the thumbs up button if you think I should go on ahead and keep watching the show because I just rewatched season one and now I'm beginning with season two. So hit the thumbs up button if you're a fan of Stranger Things and let's rock and roll. For the first character showcase here today, we have the legendary Jim Hopper. I would probably make the case that this is either the second or most popular character from the show. Again, this is coming from someone that has only seen season one all the way through and just began season number two, but I do feel like this is the character that I hear the most about. The one distinct thing that is a little bit different about this design to the actual Lego minifig and the actual costume is the fact that he has a big giant Joker print on his back but unfortunately there is no way to remove that unless if I were to use some mods and again I do not want to do that because I want to make sure that you guys have a chance to recreate these characters for yourselves as well and next up we have 11 who is arguably the most popular character if you don't agree with me about jim hopper being the most popular character then this is definitely the one this character is absolutely insanely epic and apparently the trajectory of this character with the rest of the show is just phenomenal so i'm looking forward to seeing how this character grows and how her powers evolve and so on and so forth but the really, really cool thing about Eleven is that they actually chose to go with the design where she has the wig and the kind of pink-ish uh, dress attire. So that is the same exact design that I chose to go on ahead and recreate here within the LEGO DC Super Villains video game. If you want to, obviously, since the first time that we actually meet this character, she's actually bald or essentially bald with like a really, really, really short haircut. You can actually recreate that design as well by just simply removing the actual wig design and then going with a bald look for the character instead. For the next character on the docket, we have Dustin here. And yes, unfortunately, there was no way to actually go on ahead and replicate the baseball cap correctly where the front beak of the cap is red and then the middle or the front of it is white and then the back of it is blue so i tried to recreate it to the best of my ability within the limits of the game this is actually the least accurate and in my opinion the worst minifig that you will see here today during the showcase but there's some sick ones coming up after this one. and the next one is going to be mike and this one turned out awesome i'm actually really really happy with how this one looks i think that all the details that you see from the official lego group release is essentially captured here with the exception of the shirt design under the jacket that's the only exception to this particular rule and of course the one other thing i do want to mention is that none of these characters are the proper height quote unquote because lego uses the shorter leg design for these minifigs and unfortunately that is something that is not available as a customization option within lego dc see super villains of course if it was i would have definitely gone ahead and chosen that particular leg height in order to get the accuracy on these to be even closer to the actual show and the actual releases and next up we have a will right here and i am actually really happy with how this one turned out as well i did go on ahead and use the kind of a i guess trickster personality type for this particular design just because i think it fits very well within the story element of what happens to this character at least in season one of the show so i think that this actually works really really well for that the one detail that obviously kind of stinks about this design is one once again, the fact that the back does have that Joker print, but unfortunately within LEGO DC Supervillains, this is the only kind of zipped up t-shirt design that kind of works for 
what these characters are wearing. And so I have to utilize this piece and there really isn't any other options except for this one. And next up, rounding out the main cast of Stranger Things is the one and only uh, Lucas, who I'm very, very happy with how he turned out. In fact, he is one of the most accurate designs on this entire list, and I'm super duper stoked that he was one of the standouts that turned out quite similar to what he looks like in the official LEGO Group release. For the next minifig design that we're going to be taking a look at, it is the one and only Joyce, aka Will's mom of course and she is yet another one of the minifig designs that comes along in the official lego group release for the stranger things set i think this one turned out really really well i wish that lego dc super villains would allow you to recolor the hip piece that darker brown as well to match the exact design that they use for the lego release as well unfortunately that is not available but I tried to get as close as I possibly could to that design. And I think that this one turned out quite lovely as well. Oh boy, this one I'm nervous about because this is the one I'm going to get roasted for. But ladies and gentlemen, I present to thee in three, two, one, the Demogorgon. Or at least my attempt of the Demogorgon to try to recreate it within this game. It was an absolute pain to try to get something to look as similar to the Demogorgon as I possibly could and I feel like this turned out okay it's not great it's not terrible it really is kind of middle of the road I would say within the limits of this game this turned out quite cool but I really do wish that I would have a little bit more ability to customize the helmets and stuff without using mods because I think I could absolutely knock it out of the park if I could just have a little bit more control over which parts of the design are recolored i really do think we could have done a bit of a better job but i still think that this one turned out really really freaking cool so let me know what you guys think of the demo gorgon now with that being said that is the eight minifigs that come along in the official set we've taken a look at hopper we've taken a look at lucas we've taken a look at will mike dustin 11 of course the demo gorgon and joyce herself but that's not all because Lego actually did go on ahead and release another minifig, which was part of their San Diego Comic-Con promotion. And that would be everybody's favorite, Barbara, right? I mean, such an iconic character. It was so random as to why they chose this character as their promotional character for San Diego Comic-Con. I was very kind of taken aback by that because I really thought that they would most likely go with like Steve Harrington or Nancy just because I feel like those are a lot more popular characters than Barbara was. But regardless, I did go on ahead and replicate that design to the best of my ability. And I think it actually turned out pretty cool and turned out very, very similar to the official release. But obviously, I kind of already gave away the final two characters that you will see here today. And that is Steve Harrington and the one and only Nancy here. And I think that they both turned out very, very, very cool. A few iconic elements displayed for each one of the characters, the right hairstyle because I feel like that's the most important thing particularly with Steve Harrington because I think if you get that wrong people would absolutely crucify you so I think that I captured most of the elements for these two characters quite well here let me know what you think of these two down in the comment section below so there you have it stranger things fans let me know what you think of these designs do you like them do you not like them if you think you can do better without using mods because again for those of you that are like oh i could do better by just utilizing some mods yeah so could i but the challenge here is to not go on ahead and change the game use what the game gives you and try to create these characters to the best of your ability and most accurately let me know if you could do better you can tag me on instagram and twitter at blitzwinger with your designs have an absolutely fantastic day thanks all for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one Looking bye everybody dearer, so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeezed till I